Your mind is a garden and your thoughts are the seeds. Now the harvest can either be flowers or weeds. Hello everyone, my name is Namita. Welcome to my channel and Diwali is here. Now I know that all of us have been so busy with the mandate Diwali cleaning. Yes, every year before Diwali, we start cleaning every corner of our house. But have you ever thought about cleaning this mind? mental cleaning is equally important isn't it so in today's video we are going to talk about how to detox your mind we think about detoxing this body by consuming greens juices green tea but we never think about cleaning this mind so the first thing that you can do for mental cleaning is start unfollowing those people who drain you out of habit we keep following people who ultimately drain us the people who make us feel negative who leave us with a lot of negative emotion emotions otherwise look at the kind of content you're consuming on youtube on netflix on prime there are certain series which are all so negative people are screaming and shouting at each other they are yelling on the top of their voices they are using abusive language so ultimately they leave you with a lot of negativity you get nightmares you don't feel good after it but it is just a habit that you're still watching it and youtube keeps suggesting you the similar kind of content same with prime and netflix and hotstar so it is a vicious circle that you're caught up in start unfollowing those people who are not adding any positivity into your life just out of your habit notice how you feel after watching a video how you feel after watching that reel you should feel energized and positive after watching any content that you're consuming. So be mindful about what you are putting inside this mind. The second thing is be selectively social. Basically, I'm talking about productive socialism. Now, again, out of compulsion, we meet a lot of people. It is festive season. We will go meet relatives and friends. But there are people who don't leave you feel uh, feeling good about your own self. We continue uh, dealing with certain bonds which no longer serve a positive purpose in our life. It can be your friends, it can be your relatives. Now you have to be selectively social. Are these people who you are uh, having a bond with adding any value into your life? Are they helping you grow in your life or they are making you feel bad about your own self, your friends, your relatives? Are they really concerned about your well-being? Or you're just continuing it because you've been told to make sacrifices and adjustments to keep some relationships alive because yes it is taught right from childhood that we should be adjusting and accommodating the relationship should always be intact your mental health can suffer so there is nothing wrong in having just one friend and not a circle of 15 people who don't make you feel good again the people can be negative you will catch the vibrations how you feel after meeting these people is one thing that you need to notice if you feel good if you remember those times and you feel wonderful then it's okay but if you think of them and you feel sad you feel a lot of guilt inside you then these are not the people who you need to interact with so be very selective about the people you socialize with the third thing is start practicing meditation because a healthy life needs a healthy mind the only thing that you can do for this mind is making it spend some time with itself and that is possible with meditation a lot of thoughts keep going on in our mind positive negative a lot of things responsibilities there is a lot which goes on so we need to give it some resting time it's not necessary that during sleep we are restful sometimes we have those dreams which make us even more tired so meditation can solve that purpose now i'm not an expert to talk about meditation but yes there are a few basic things that i do like taking deep breaths just sit with yourself and start inhaling all the positivity think of all the wonderful things that are there in your life so breathe in and when you breathe out try to exhale all the negativity it will happen automatically with every breath out you can exhale the toxicity and this will ultimately heal your mind whatever wounds are there whatever sorrows are there your mind is feeling tired it will feel energized so meditation is the least that you can do 
to detox your mind the fourth thing is sort out and detox the unnecessary things from your life basically clean up the mess now about mind it is important to clean the mess have you seen one drawer or one portion of an almira which is full of the tangled wires it has your earphones the charger and other wires which are just tangled it's a bunch of wires which which cannot be detangled which is which is not even looking good it's a whole bunch of mess similarly our mind also has a lot of tangled emotions the entire day we are busy fulfilling responsibilities meeting expectations that people have from us we are just taking care of everybody else so in in the process somewhere this mind gets tangled with a lot of emotions a lot of feelings sorrows sadness burdens past regrets guilt everything just gets tangled into each other and it's a mess it's important that we get we need to get rid of some unnecessary things like getting rid of those things which we have done in past the things which we are regretting now the guilts which are coming right from past we cannot go back and make a lot of changes in the past and about future if we are worried about it then also we can't do much about it whatever is going to happen in future we will see in future only all we have is this present moment and all we can do is organize our thoughts let us take charge of this mind let the thoughts and the feelings not take charge of this mind what happens is that we start letting the emotions take control of our entire performance and in the whole process we become so negative and our mind start performing in a very negative way so let's take charge of our emotions let's start cleaning the mess let's start getting rid of the unnecessary emotions the unnecessary feelings that we have the sorrows that are not even meant to be there so whenever we are mindful about what we are thinking our thoughts our emotions our feelings we can help this mind breathe let's do that the fifth thing is write down your thoughts because unorganized thoughts lead to unorganized life yes as i was talking about the previous in the previous point that we need to organize our thoughts for that it's important that you start writing your thoughts down the quotes the quotations which we read from great people are nothing but their thoughts which were penned down so we can also pen down our thoughts whatever you are feeling put them in a piece of paper if they are negative then when you write those negative thoughts down it's like get getting rid of them from your mind and putting that on a paper and then destroy that paper basically all the negativity will be destroyed and if these thoughts are positive then pen them down to make it your reality because when you pen down something positive it starts to develop into the reality of your life so that is why i keep talking about journal write down your thoughts as an everyday routine every day before going to bed write down about all the good things that have happened to you so organize your thoughts don't let the thoughts make you a mess make your mind a mess so organized thoughts will lead to an organized life the sixth thing that you can do is remember the big picture yes the obstacles of your life are not the dead ends overcome them by thinking about the greatness of future success you can create the life of your choice but you don't know the power of this mind this mind is very powerful right now the obstacles that you are facing if you are facing any discrimination at the moment if life is not going by your wish then you can start creating the life of your dream yes the future is in your hands only and if something wrong is happening to you right now it is not the dead end of course you can rise again you can overcome that we are very powerful but for that we have to believe in power of this mind and this mind will function as we want it to only when we keep it away from the negativity keep it away from everything that drains us so start to look at the bigger picture visualize yourself as the one which you truly want to become the big picture is reaching the goal which you have wanted for yourself forever so visualize yourself there and don't look at the obstacles right now don't look at the failures which are there right now just think of the bigger 
success that you are going to achieve this is how your mind will start paving the path to take you to the destination of your choice the seventh thing is don't waste a second on the things that have no future we know that sometimes we just put our energy and mind into something which has no future for example an extra marital affair is not going to take us anywhere and i wonder why people after reaching a certain age still get into the same thing they are just looking for affairs having a flirtatious nature why can't we just get beyond that point you are no more a teenager you have to look at becoming successful you have to work on becoming a better version of yourself how can you waste time in something which certainly has no future so invest in yourself start investing in your own dreams start investing in becoming the person that you really want to be these things wasting your time in things which are not serving any purpose is is like really mindless thing happening especially with the technology we waste a lot of time on the things which are not adding any value into our life so if you don't look at anything as uh, a, an important or a significant event in your future then don't waste time on it now that's all you can do to keep this mind healthy last but not the least the eighth thing the people you are with influence your mind so choose wisely but we don't make our own choices this is the problem we let our instincts and our emotions just get into anything you don't realize how important it is that we choose the people we are with even if it is just connecting uh, to people virtually not even in reality in reality of of course it matters a lot but the term which we are using these days influencers are these people actually serving a good purpose in your life choose the people you watch choose the people you have friendship with choose the people you socialize with wisely because they influence you suppose the children or or the growing up children basically the teenagers are spending a lot of time with the smokers so they would automatically start smoking because everybody around them is smoking and they feel that smoking is normal this is how consumption of drug has increased to this extent because drug has become a normal thing among youngsters because everybody is taking drugs i will also start consuming them similarly social media is affecting a lot of people they influence you in such a way that you get caught up into their tricks and to come out of it you have to be wise enough so make this mind so strong that you are not influenced by anybody's trick for profit or for their own benefits you have to train this mind to be very wise when you are making a choice to be with the person who is whatever is suggesting whatever the person is providing is for your benefit so let the space be so positive that there is no scope for any negativity or anything which drains you so to keep this mind healthy you have to be wise enough you have to make good choices you have to create a positive atmosphere for yourself so this diwali let's do the mental cleaning we have a clean house now but just imagine how would it be when we have a clean mind too i am going to work on my mental cleaning this season and for all the coming seasons of course i hope you do it too and wishing you all a very happy diwali have a peaceful one a positive one i'll see you in my next video till then take care of yourself keep working on your mental cleaning and keep loving yourself unconditionally bye bye for now